After all these years, I still haven't played any of the World War II Zombies DLC maps. So in today's video, we're going to try them out for the very first time. You know, just get a feel for the maps, see how they are. Can we just appreciate the fact that David Tennant is in this Zombies game, which is pretty awesome, considering, you know, he's coming back as the Doctor. But this map is called The Darkest Shore. I mean, I'm honestly kind of liking the vibe so far. I have seen gameplay of this. Why are there so many zombies? And why are these only giving 10 points each? Wait, <laughs> what on earth? Oh my god, it's fine. I mean, we'll be all right, I guess. Oh, Jesus, I'm already almost dead. Am I missing something? What, 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 oh, we got like an MG42. Oh, here we go. Well, this is uh, a lot easier than her. Boom, survive the beach. That was round zero. I think that's the first time round zero has ever been a thing in zombies. Okay, we've got a little quick revive machine here. I'm not gonna lie, the animations for like buying perks and stuff is really cool. But yeah, we're gonna do kind of like a one life wonder sort of thing where if we die, we just move on to the next map. No matter how far through the map we get, it could be round one, it could be round 20, you know? That way I can actually get a feel for every single one. I really don't know much about this map actually. What I do know is the machine pistol's pretty solid. Is that a goddamn whale? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, the poor thing. We've got some kind of, uh, what's this? Requires power. Oh, it's like the Shangri-La thingy. The little, uh, mineshaft cart. I've played the Final Reich and Groston House before, so that's why we're not going to be playing those maps in this video, but not to say I'm not a fan of those, of course. I mean, the Final Reich is actually one of my favorite maps of all time. I like the fact that it had like an easy and a normal or like hard Easter egg. I don't know why regular Treyarch zombies hasn't done that, especially like think about Cold War, you know? The main issue people had with those games was the fact that it was too easy, supposedly, which I guess you've got like the Rampage Inducer, but it's kind of a bit different, you know? What's this? Oh, full meter. Yes, nice. I think World War II Zombies was actually the first one where you can spawn in with your, like, specialist thing. Because World War II, I think it was a year before BO4, right? Alright, let's start opening up the map because we've spent ages in the spawn room. So we've got kind of like a... Whoa, okay. What the hell? Wait, that's the Doctor dude. From the first map. Oh, I shot him and I got an achievement. Find and shoot Dr. Straub. Wait, that's cool. I, I had literally never knew that was a thing. Interesting. Oh yeah, we have a skeleton key, which allows us to like open a door for free, I guess. Bro, these poor, <laughs> these poor bodies. Oh my God. We've got an armor station. I'm going to buy that immediately. This was actually the first zombies game to add armor as well, I think. Instead of like the shield system, because, you know, BO3 and Infinite Warfare came before this. It's interesting because, yeah, BO4 did kind of take a lot of uh, what World War II zombies tried to do and put a little spin on it. They're different developing companies and all, but doesn't mean they couldn't have been inspired, perhaps. I do like the fact that like a stinger will play every single time a zombie spawns in. So it's almost like a jump scare. I mean, the person who made the zombies game made Dead Space. Space. So you gotta appreciate the fact that, oh, here we go with the fucking fog. I can totally see what I'm doing. Electrical attack on reload. Oh, it's electric cherry. I mean, that doesn't sound too great, to be honest. I'm just gonna keep on buying doors then, I guess. Where am I going? Uh, we've got some kind of a staircase. MP40. I mean, I'll happily take that, actually. Oh, hello, little bug dude. This door requires power. Of course it does. Oh, and there's a perk there. I think that's some kind of like speed cola. Oh shit, hello, zombies. What is going on? Oh, this is actually creepy. Dude, people complained about the fog on transit. Imagine trying to deal with this though. <laughs> I can barely see what I'm doing. Okay, we've got some kind of, uh, what's this? Oh, hi. What is... yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I think if I remember from what watching like YouTube videos, this is where the Pack-a-Punch spawns, I think. God knows how we actually get it. Okay, that's the round. Thank God. Seems to still spawn zombies in despite it not being, like, in the round. Uh, we've got some kind of a locker here. Hello, dude. What's up? Lost your head. Unlucky. Uh, grease gun on the wall. I mean, it's not bad. Okay, we actually have a door we can open. A mystery box spawn. I guess we'll, uh, we'll open it up. What is around here? Oh boy, this is dark. More armor, I guess. At least it costs money, unlike the salvage system where you have to like just have enough salvage to be able to do it. I kind of do appreciate that. Um, we already have armor though, okay. It gets more expensive every time you buy it. Oh, what's this? Enable power. Let's go. I can actually see what I'm doing now, kind of. Oh, okay. So we've got this big open area now. Some kind of toggle destination. Oh, it is the mineshaft thing. Okay. Some kind of a valve. Oh, God. Hi. Is this a trap? I think it is. Oh, propeller trap. Oh, what on earth is this? Oh, that's gross. So yeah, requires power. Huh. Interesting because we already turned power on. Maybe there's two power switches or something. We've got some kind of a pack of... It looks like a pack of punch machine. And we've got like a battery thing next to it. So what could be around here? Oh, 
faster reload speed. Honestly, that would be quite nice. We have points and nothing to spend it on, so uh, screw it. Might as well get it. Give me speed cola. Schnell Blitz. Nice name. All right, we're back up here now. Oh, that door up here will have opened, won't it? Yeah, here we go. Open the bunkers. What was that I saw? I saw some kind of interactable. Hold to pick up radio part. Oh, okay. No idea what that does, but that's cool. Uh, so what perk is this? Increased sprint speed and stamina? I'll take that. I don't remember if this perk was actually on the final break. What was that zombie do Bro? <laughs> Wait a minute. What was that? Okay, I'm gonna get this nuke before we uh, go down. Uh, we've got another door over there. I suppose we'll just go here, I guess. Flak cannon unavailable. Um, I think we'll buy the STG. We need like 90 points. Okay, that's fine. We've got Oh, the radio's over here and the mystery box. Okay, maybe we go for a spin of the box then. Because frankly, we just need something. What are we getting? We got... Oh, are you serious? I got like a goddamn launcher. Kaboom! <laughs> Wait, it has nine shots before you have to reload? That's actually quite good. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if there's some kind of PhD on this game, but that's pretty OP. Oh, never mind. Apparently it doesn't kill at all. Bro, how is this explosion not dealing more damage? Come on, dude. There we go. I'm gonna buy the STG. Screw it. We've got this cool camo on it. Looks nice. Oh, the bomb dudes are back. So we can shoot this and it'll like create an explosion, which is quite cool. So this door's 1500. We've got more armor over there. I still haven't found jug, but you know. Oh, wait, there wasn't a jug on this game, was there? I don't think so anyway. Unless I'm crazy. Maybe there was. I know the armor was a thing though. Requires power. Dude, I have so many questions. <laughs> it's funny. I didn't actually buy any of these DLC maps until, what was it, like four months ago, I think, when it was on sale. I mean, from what I remember specifically about this map was Noah J456 quit zombies and went to Fortnite full time at the time. So kind of doesn't bode well for how good this map is. But, uh, you know, I mean, so far it's going pretty well. The fog hasn't come back yet, which I appreciate because it was kind of a uh, very thick. We have another door. I'm assuming it's the same one. Oh, a perk. Looks like some kind of strength perk. I'm guessing I'll oh, increase melee damage. That's kind of useless. So that's interesting that like instead of a bowie knife, oh, raise elevation, fire the cannon. What? But instead of a bowie knife, you have a perk to replace it. The bar, I think the bar's actually meant to be quite good on this game. Oh, here we go. Another power switch. I was right then. There are two powers. Um, Screw it then. Let's actually buy the bar. I think it's going to be pretty decent. We have like 300 reserve ammo, which is always a good sign. What could we have opened then with the power? Because there were like these little things that said like requires power on them. Oh god, we got the bloody the stinky rounds. Go away, dude. Oh yeah, it was right here. Requ oh, it still requires power. Okay. Must be a battery thing, I guess. But yeah, this bar's decent. I wonder if double tap is on this game. There we go, max ammo. Just gives it you as well, I like that. I guess we shall go exploring. I mean, surely the mineshaft thing is gonna be available now. So if we go back to the spawn, can we use this? Hold F to call, there we go. I was gonna say, it wouldn't make much sense if we couldn't. Oh, hi, explosion boy. Screw it, let's actually use the explosion to, uh, there we go. Double magnets, oh, electromagnet, du double jolts. So instead of points, they're called jolts in this game, which is interesting. Come on, gimme, gimme. At least it's the actual, like, normal zombies point system and not the stupid, uh, Black Ops 4 one or the Cold War one. Oh, we've got the big guy again. Oh, shit. Don't slam me. I forgot he was a thing. So yeah, we've got this mini boss that has, like, this giant arm. Which, uh, ooh, bro wants to stab me. Go away, dude. There we go. Well, we've got one zombie now. We can actually get on this. I don't know what this does. Use the minecart system. Oh, oh, screen's black. Okay. Do we have a part we can, like, get? Oh, hello, explodey boys. Well, that's not exactly ideal, is it? Oh, shit. Oh, I got... There was some kind of electro thing. I bought duck soup. <laughs> what? Crap, I think I missed the part I was supposed to pick up. I guess we'll change the destination and we'll go again. Here we go. Activate. There's no cooldown. Nice. All right, where's this part we've got to pick up? Come on. Gotta be somewhere. I'm not seeing anything. Scammed, I guess. Wait, it took me all this time to realize we bought like a packet punched gun. Wait, what? This SMG we've got is like a packet punched version because it's got the pap camo. I have no idea how we got it, but that's cool. I guess we'll go and look for... Oh, here we go. Insert electros schnell. Well, we have one. Oh, we have two. So we need two more batteries to get the pack a punch, it seems. Where the hell would we get that, though? Increased weapon damage. Oh, this is like a double tap then. Okay, we'll buy this. Can't really say no to more weapon damage. Um, another minecart. God, more bloody fog. Oh, shit. I just want to spawn every zombie on me. Okay, fair enough. Okay, yeah, this is actually kind of creepy. <gasps> what is that? What is that? 
You see this thing with the fucking tentacles? What on earth? How do I activate my uh, my specialist? No, that's inspecting. The Q? I don't know what it is. Oh, that? What the heck is this? Oh, shit. Open the door. Open the door, please. We've got like a money zombie in the back. Oh, God. Hi. Where'd you come from? What? What is this? I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, God. Hi. Stop with the jump scares, bro. What? What is... I have no idea what's going on, actually. Oh, it's coming. Oh, go away. Go away. Fucking die, dude. I have a pack of punched gun. How are you alive? I'm dead. What absolute fucking chaos just happened in the last, like, two seconds. I kind of want... I don't want to just, like, try and kill him. Oh, I'm going to bloody die. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, whatever happened, happened, I guess. All right, this next map is called The Shadowed Throne. I mean, this promotional image looks kind of sick, not gonna lie. What is going on here? Whoa, we're like underground? Okay. Is this some kind of a sewer? Interesting vibe. I just realized I'm not gonna bother buying Quick Revive because, you know, we're doing the one life thing. Oh, hello. Is that a pack a bunch? At least we can actually kill zombies and get points immediately. I can appreciate that. What is this? Some kind of like weapon that you can't get? Okay. Sword off shotgun. But I'll take that. Oh, I guess the gun, the, the duck gun I had last game wasn't packet punched. It's just this camo I've got on, which looks pretty sick. Pick up shovel. Okay. I have a shovel now. Nice. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, this is a dead end. It looks like it. Oh, hello, bro. Oh, unlucky. Oh, this looks like a door. Okay, we can actually go somewhere. Some kind of interactable thingy. Oh, we got an armor station. Nice. Okay, we'll get 500 points then. I feel like getting armor is just too important on this game. I do love the sword off shotgun though. Not gonna lie. Takes me back to uh, the world at war days. All right, what is up here? We've got SVT. An elevator we can't get in. I like the um the whole aesthetic of like the 1940s elevators and stuff. Oh, rip in pieces. Some kind of very pale lady. Oh, no wonder she's pale. She's dead, lol. Oh, that's cute. Little, uh, I want to say it's a leopard. It's either that or a cheetah. I'm, I'm, my brain is just fried right now. Pew, pew. Okay, this reload is not the fastest in the world, though. What's this? A vault. Oh, we could totally interact with it. What? We actually can. Oh, I'm guessing it's like a free wonder weapon, maybe. Oh, even on World War II zombies, I get the double points at the end of the round. Classic. Oh, here we go. Main Street. Cool, cool. Straub is talking. We've got some kind of... A Wait, this is a door. Looks like a teleporter. What the heck? I mean, I guess we'll open it up. Why not? This map is weird. It's like... It kind of reminds me of Gurod Krovi. What just happened to that guy? What? Wait, oh, was he still alive? What on earth? It's very rare you actually see humans getting eaten by zombies in COD Zombies, which is weird because you'd think it would be like a huge trope. It's why I really like the Mob of the Dead and Origins intro cutscenes because it actually showcases that. Like, it's cool to see. Because all these maps, you know, they're very far in the future. I'm guessing this is a more recent to like when the outbreak happens, I guess. All right, where are we going? What the heck was that? Just like hippity hoppity up. Oh, the, what is that, dude? I'm like a bunny. Wee! Another door here. So the, another main street. Okay, some cool, like, weird-looking poster thingies. This bit reminds me of Shadows of Evil, actually. Some kind of machines on the side. Another leopard slash cheetah. Oh, here we go, a perk. Electrical attack on reload. So can you just buy the perks without needing to put the power on? Because that's kind of good. Pick up trench knife. Oh, okay. Hold, and then... Oh, so I can do a take that. What on earth was that? I mean, that was cool. <laughs> I gouged his eyes out. I can appreciate this aesthetic that they're going for. I thought that said whole F to open pizza. Yeah, not quite. Well, we can go on top of the place up here. We've got a gun, M1928. Ooh, I may actually save up for that. These maps are so bloody dark though, I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to tell what I'm doing and then we've got these bloody bastards spawning in. Go away. Oh, and I'll actually be able to use my uh, free fire specialist on the bottom right this time because I've bound it to a key. Slightly important, you know. That reminds me of Infinite Warfare with the whole like melee weapons just hanging around on the floor everywhere. Okay, if I remember correctly, this gun's pretty decent. I seem to remember packer punching it a lot on the final Reich, but then again, it is a pretty easy gun to get, so stupid buzzy dudes. All right, let's open this door. What is behind door number 50? The bar again? Okay. Oh, that was that another human getting eaten. I think it was, dude. What's happening? What is... There's just, like, people who are alive, but the second I see them, they just die. Quite unfortunate, I guess. Some kind of... This is a, definitely a code for an Easter egg. Oh, wait. Is that a baseball bat? Maybe I have some kind of, like, time trial thing where you can get those melee weapons. That's cool. Oh, wait. Maybe... Do I put... 
the trench knife in here, perhaps? No? I was thinking you needed to put the melee weapons in here for like, I don't know, an unlock of some kind? Maybe this giant door that we can totally get in because I can see through it? This map's pretty cool so far, actually. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm digging the mysterious vibe I'm getting. Another door to open the church. Another door to the museum. These weird door things look cool. I'm gonna go to the museum then, I guess. Increased melee damage. Ooh, what is that? Oh, hello. I'm just trying to admire the uh, the aesthetics of the map, dude. Chill, zombies, chill. Hello, skeleton. Only half a skeleton. Interesting. Oh, God. I'm actually uh, getting kind of stuck. Oh, walk, move out the way. Thank God these zombies are uh, they're incredibly clunky. I've noticed that. Florian? Florian? Hello? Are people still alive? Oh, that's cool. The only zombies map I can remember that did that was, what was it, Shangri-La? Screw it, I'm gonna use a free fire. Whee! So it basically just gives you unlimited ammo, and you don't have to reload, of course, as well. It's very nice. Trouble is, I don't want to use it anymore, so I kind of just wasted it. Increased weapon damage, I'll take it. Basically double tap, got to appreciate that, since, you know, this was the last game to have double tap 2.0, I'm pretty sure, because BO4 removed it, and of course it wasn't in Cold War, or Vanguard either. Okay, we've still got free fire, I mean, screw it then, I guess, we'll just spray the hell out of- I, I can't see what I'm doing, to be honest, there we go. Get the nuke, screw it. Uh, do we open the church, maybe? What's gonna be in here? The mystery box! Okay, I'll take it. Another radio over here. What are we gonna get? An M2 carbine? I mean, if it kills, it kills, you know? God, this is sketchy. Ah, what did we get? Give me something. I got a, I got a pistol. Oh, brilliant. About as good as the starting pistol, which isn't really ideal. Screw it. Get the explosion. All right. Well, we got the mystery box, radios, and I guess something has got to be in here. We've got this area. What's this? Faster reload speed. Oh, we got monkeys. Nice. That's actually going to be really useful because, frankly, we need the help right now. Um, We need a thousand points to get this then. I'm going to try it. I'm going to throw a monkey bomb. Whee! What does it do? Okay, so it plays the song, obviously. Bates them all in. I'm hoping it explodes. Okay, it does. I was going to say, it'd be very shit if it just drew them to it but didn't actually do anything. Oh, fuck. Another full meter. I'll take it. Screw it, we'll use it. Better safe than sorry. Crawlers, can we go away? Ow! I exploded myself, I think. Good job, me. God, I cannot see what's happening. The effects are blinding me. We have so many points. I'd love to be able to pack a punch on just one of these maps, not gonna lie, but seemingly impossible. I don't want to look up a guide because it would kind of take away from the uh, first time experience, you know? Buy more armor. That's the thing about playing zombies. You've got to do things yourself the first time and then kind of ease your way into doing other stuff, you know? Okay, we've already got that perk. Oh god, how many of these fuckers do we have? Jesus, go away. We've only got two perks that we actually want to buy, though. I swear there's gotta be more. Let's go all the way back here, because they're... Uh, yeah, there's gonna be like an, another area we can go to. Oh, here we go. Here's a perk. What's this? Increased sprint speed. Perfect. Which is very essential on this map, apparently, because there's so many places we can go to. Oh, this is just the museum. Okay, at least I'm getting my bearings a little bit. We made it to round 12 on the last map, so hopefully we can get to a higher round on this one. I'd say we're a bit more set up. I'm just moderately confused, I guess. Oh god, we got those boss zombies again. Go away. Do not slam me, please. Oh, he's dead. Easy. Yeah, double tap moment. <laughs> Absolutely shredding them. I haven't even seen where the Packer Punch could spawn. Like, genuinely, I have no idea. What's this? Some kind of a radio? What? I'm interacting with it. <laughs> what on earth? You can actually tune a radio. Again, gonna be some kind of elaborate Easter egg, of course. Screw it. Free fire time. You know, I actually preferred the way they did operators in this game because... You spawn in and you still have the four main characters for the game, right? For the story. But unlike Cold War, you can actually still have, like, whatever custom character you want to have, but it doesn't take away from the story. Which, you know, is pretty important. Hello, big guy, go away. So, this radio, how do we... A and D to tune it. What? I don't know how I'm supposed to be doing this. Oh, God knows, man. Is the packet punch gonna drop from the sky if I tune the radio correctly? Like, how... Oh, we promoted. Also, that's another thing. Why in the hell does this game have permanent double XP, but Black Ops 3 doesn't? Like, I don't understand. Would it not be so easy to just put permanent double XP on? The game's no longer in, like, its life cycle or anything, so what's the harm in doing it, right? Oh, God, have we got that big guy again? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was the tentacle dude. Oh, God, I can't see what's happening. Oh, hi, another big guy. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, we're flying through the rounds, though. What was back here again? I don't remember. Oh, we actually have a door underbelly. 
Oh, this is just going to be the spawn, right? Maybe something changed at the spawn, perhaps? So of course my footage somehow managed to freeze on like round 13, just brilliant. But this is called The Tortured Path. It was DLC 3. Apparently it was like three different maps. They released as survival maps afterwards, but it's a different kind of zombies experience. Yeah, here we go. Wave 1 out of 10. So you have a fixed amount of waves you just have to survive immediately. I mean, I prefer this to like the outbreak kind of thing from Cold War, but it is a bit strange to say the least. There are a lot. Holy shit. How many zombies? This is round one, dude. This gives you a random starter weapon. Is there a goddamn mystery box anywhere? Oh, we have electrical attack on reload. Oh, here we go. SMG for 2000. I kind of like that it's a random one though. So it's like the mystery box is on the wall almost. What a, what a strange concept for a game. So yeah, hopefully the game footage doesn't just freeze again because it's happened a little bit recently actually. A few videos, it'll just freeze at random and there's no way to predict it. Oh, here we go. Random SMG. Oh, we got the duck soup again. I mean, I can't complain, it's got like 600 ammo, so that's the reload speed down here. And kind of a, another machine, which was in the previous map, but I don't know what it does. All right, free fire time. Apparently I need it on round two. So I'm guessing that this is gonna be like, the rounds are double what the actual round is. So round one is actually round two, round two is actually round four almost in terms of difficulty, perhaps. I'm not gonna do all the maps though, just because there's another two and they're exact same as this. So if I have 10 random waves kind of thing. Some kind of battery here. Is this like a soul box? Ooh, a gramophone. Is that an origins reference? Let's go. All right, pick up quick revive. Not quick revive, quick reload. That's the one. I believe there was actually an Easter egg of some kind for these maps, but I have no idea how they work. Increased sprint speed. Oh, that would be good too. Oh, pack a punch is here. What is this, Mucular assault? Defeat the Meister Muculars? What are they? <gasps> oh no! Fuck this! What on earth? Are you seeing expecting me to be able to deal with this? What on earth, man? Well, <laughs> these guys are fucking mad, dude. These are actually terrifying. Definitely some kind of like a dead space vibe I'm getting from these creatures. Oh fuck, and they even stun me? How is that? I'm dead. <laughs> on earth man I, th these are like the scariest creature i've ever seen these like abominations okay i mean next map it is exactly 420 nice okay this map i have actually done a starting room challenge for this when we were doing a starting room on every single zombies game and not gonna lie i really like the look like it genuinely gives me questions the second i spawn in like why is there just a random plane crashed here that we like why are we in the middle of some kind of mountain area and any map that has snow in i do appreciate looks very cool the tortured path that we just played though apparently the leveling system is completely separate which is cool but yeah we can use melee weapons if you hold right mouse and then left trigger you can like dig into them almost which is really weird, but you can get, yeah, here we go, scavenge some ammo. You can get bonus stuff, like more ammo. I think you can also get bonus points as well. It's so gruesome, but I actually really like it. World War II Zombies is very gritty. So we've got this like a thing we have to stand on. I think in order to open the door to get into the map, we have to get souls here. Let's find out, shall we? So kill you. Yeah, there we go. It's like a blood sacrifice. Pretty cool animation. I love how the zombies just flop down like that. It's quite funny. Here we go. Entered the Yule. What on earth? I got an achievement. Okay, this looks nice. I've got a symbol on the wall. Definitely an Easter egg. Looks like we can still fill this up, which is interesting. Don't know why we'd want to do that. Open ice caves. What is... Okay, we already have zombies here. Cool. What is this ice zombie? What the fuck? Bro, look at his arms. That's weird. Oh my god. Wait, you can fall off the map? That looks cool, though. Wait, this looks sick aesthetically. What the hell? Buy some armor because the, the best first purchase usually. I want a gun, though. So, I mean, SVT it is, I guess. Like a semi-auto. Eh, gets the job done, you know. What is this bright light? What? Is, oh, my eyes. Can we not, game? All right, open another door. The archives. Ooh, I have so many questions, but it looks really cool. Another door here, the passage. Whatever the hell this is. Um, screw it, we'll just open this door. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. What is going on here? Some kind of pushing machine? I don't know. So many parts that we have to pick up on this map. Jesus Christ. Makes origins look easy. No, I'm kidding. There's actually not that many, but you know, 6, 12, 18, 24, plus another three. There's like 27 different things we've got to do. 
Okay, maybe there is a lot, actually. Where am I going? Oh, we're going back to the archives. Damn, I just went in like a circle, I think. I want to know how to get down to whatever the hell this is, because this looks cool. Ooh, the drop almost fell off the edge. Guess we need to go this way towards the morgue. Ah, uh, we got the stinky round. Wait, one one of them dropped a max ammo. Isn't this meant to be the max ammo round? I, I feel like that shouldn't happen, but that's cool. They can drop drops. But yeah, there we go. Gave me a max. Interesting. I think I'm pretty sure this is a teleporter because if there's one in the spawn, so it would make sense. Also, I was wondering why my gun was called the Soul 2, but it's because I forgot weapon variants were a thing in this game. This is the sequel to Advanced Warfare, but frankly, I would have preferred if it was Advanced Warfare 2. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't agree with me there, but I genuinely enjoyed Advanced Warfare. Like, not even necessarily in terms of zombies, but just the multiplayer was pretty enjoyable for me. It was like my best multiplayer, I think. I just, I kind of preferred the fast-paced vibe that it was going for. And personally, I think that zombies does better, and Call of Duty in general will do better whenever the devs are just trying to have fun. Like, if you go back to Advanced Warfare and just see what they were doing with some of the shit, like, they were just having fun with it, man. Same goes for Call of Duty Go which I think got overheated, to be honest. Compared to Vanguard, it's nowhere near as bad. But like, they had these Halloween events and stuff, like Michael Myers in Call of Duty, which was cool. And I'm not talking about some operator skin, I'm talking about an actual Michael Myers. I think it actually it was like a, uh, a care package thing, right? You could become Michael Myers, which just, just saying that is so cool. COD doesn't do that anymore, man. They'll sell a Grim Reaper or Michael Myers or, I don't know, Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty fucking operator for like 20 quid and they'll expect you to buy it. They won't do any of the really fun shit anymore. Oh, we finally found a bloody perk and it's just electric cherry. Okay. Some kind of blood pool thing. What the heck is this? I can't get down there. Is this some kind of like boss fight arena? Looks so cool, dude. Wait, blood altar? I'm kind of scared to go here, but screw it, we'll go. Oh, here we go. Do I need to um, stand here, get kills, and get souls? Oh, we got a mystery box here. Nice. I'm not seeing any any souls. Oh, shit. Hey, what I do need, though, is a bloody gun. I guess we'll have to use free fire, actually, because it, it doesn't count for, like, using any ammo either, so we just get unlimited ammo. Very nice, very nice. Oh, God, dying. God, these stupid buzzy bastards. Oh, insta-kill. Perfect. This gun is not the greatest, so that definitely helps. Come on, mystery box. What are we going to get, huh? There's some kind of special wonder weapon in this box, maybe? We've got a cross... I mean, that's definitely different. Not exactly what I'm looking for, though. We got the, the fucking monkey bomb again. I mean, like, yes, it's good. It's cool and all, but I want a gun, ideally. Come on, give me something. Give me something. Give me a, a revolver, dude. Like, I'm actually getting scammed. It has 300 ammo. Maybe it's decent, but how's the crossbow? Do the zombies go to it? No, they don't. We got an MG, a KG M21. Don't know what this gun is, but it's uh, full auto, so therefore it's good. This is about as close as we can get to that thing. This blood altar has to be something, man. Like, you can't just have a blood altar and not expect me to fill it up with souls or something, you know? Oh, here we go. Hold F to activate. So yeah, this is the teleport thing I was thinking of. Whoa. So like, blood? What? What? It filled up with blood, but then it disappeared. That's cool. A blood teleporter. And now we're back at spawn. Very intriguing. Can we fill up souls again? This door's already open. Maybe it does something else. Like, we're getting souls for it, so... Logically, you would think so. Ow. Fucking hell. Ow! Why is killing me? Oh, it was a bloody crawler, of course. Always the way... Stop my armor. Okay, I'm gonna die in a second. I don't seem to be getting anything for this, though. Could just be a glitch, honestly. I've got some kind of thing here, which I don't know what this does. Buy more armor because I'm broke. Need something. What is this? Another one of these symbol things. How the hell would one get to Pack-a-Punch, though, is the question. Or what would Pack-a-Punch even look like? We've got some kind of overlook here. I guess we'll, uh... Oh, this area. Oh, okay. Now this is cool. Oh god, don't get me stuck. Don't get me stuck. Can we move out the way, zombies? Okay, now this is cool. I don't know what this is. This is, is this a soul box? No? Oh shit, I'm actually stuck. I'm actually just dead. Throw a monkey. I threw it off the map anyway. <laughs> Well, that's every single World War II Zombies DLC map attempted for the first time. Pretty confusing to say the least, but next time I do attempt these maps, I'll actually know what I'm doing, kind of. I'll watch some videos on, like, tutorials and shit. But if you've enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on the next video.